everybody hope you guys are doing great today we've got another really cool lesson if you guys missed it just the other day I did a really cool easy beginner blues riff in the key of A check it out right here if you missed it today what we're gonna do is we're going to do something called a call and response blues I'm gonna teach you guys how to play a lick and then I'm gonna teach you how to respond to that lick the lick is gonna be moving around but it's going to hit and target the root note of the chord as it passes by. You guys are going to really enjoy this. It's going to be great for beginners and intermediate players alike. Let's get started on this and have fun. Here we go. So what we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to learn a lick and then we're going to learn the response to that lick. So let's start out first with the lick. So this is going to be in the key of A. We're going to be playing here in this uh, A minor pentatonic box. that's what we're playing there what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a slide uh, from the the flat five and the blues scale so we're actually using this also okay that's what we're actually gonna be using and what we're doing is this lick repeats throughout the 12 bar blues. So when we play it, uh, we're gonna be landing on the root note each time. So the first lick looks just like this. We're gonna slide up, so we're gonna go. That's the lick, nice and slow. And then give it a little vibrato. So what we're doing is we're sliding into from the flat five here to the D note. So, and then what's crucial is we're going to land on the A because this is played over the A chord. So we're landing right here. So each time the chord changes, and 12 bar blues, we play the same lick, but we end up on a different note. So, again, this is over the one chord, the A chord. That's the call. We'll learn the response here in a bit. Okay, so the next part would be over the four chord, which is D. So it'd be like this. So the lick is exactly the same, we're just changing this one note. Instead of playing the A, we're now playing the D. So then over the five chord would be E, you guessed it, move it up here. So we're going to play the same lick, but now we're going to go slide. So um, slide back. Uh, something maybe I forgot to say, um, this is your A note, this is the D note, this is your E. And that's why it sounds so amazing because we're playing that over the chord and when we play, anytime we play the root note over the root chord that we're playing over, sounds pretty awesome. Okay, so all together it would be... to the four chord. And then up to the five chord. Back to the four. And the one. And then the turnaround would be something like this. That would be the easiest part, so. And then you're right here to begin it again. Okay, so that's the whole uh, lick, and that's the whole call part. So the response is gonna be when I'm playing that, since it's just me playing, there's only just the bass and the drums, right? So me playing also, we need something else. Or it sounds pretty dry and boring, it just sounds like I'm playing a one-line one lick over you know, the blues. So 
what we're going to do is we're going to add the ninth and the sixth chords with this. I know it sounds a little complicated, but it's not. Uh, once you guys get the hang of it, it's really cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to play this lick. And then we're going to come up here and we're going to respond to it. So this is going to be an A chord from uh, the, the ninth A chord and the sixth chord. So I'm going to explain it down here first because up here on the nut, there's nothing else here up at the nut. So we're going to come back down here. So this would be an A6 chord. Right? And then an A9 chord would actually look like this. But we're going to play it down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave it open. So it's going to sound like this. Let's just see it a little bit closer. So we're going to go open three strings on the bottom. So these three strings right here. We'll come back down here. So, so we're going to go open and then pull off. That is over the uh, one chord in A. So that's the A9 to the A6 chord. So then we're going to play the same thing over the D here. So here would be your D9 chord. Then here would be like a D6 chord. But we're not going to play that. We're going to slide into it. So we're going to do, instead of pulling off open, we're going to go You've probably heard that a lot in blues. Playing the bottom three strings again. Using our one finger to do it all here. So we're doing that right here. To the E chord. We're gonna do the same thing. So E6, or E9 to E6. So we're gonna go. And then back to the D. And back up here to the one chord, the A. So by itself it would be like this. Okay, so that's the response. So here's what we're going to do. So we're going to put these two together now. Check this out. This is really cool. So the lick. carried away there and started playing some licks but that's what you can do you can add some licks into it so again if you guys can't play it all at the same time just pick the first part pick the lick play that over the one and then go to the four over the five so one more time
right, so that's it for this lesson. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. This call and response uh, style of blues is really amazing because it gives you guys a new level to play. Once you have that down, you can add some other cool licks in there that you guys already know. Just really helps to uh, brighten up and make the blues rhythm shuffles a lot uh, more lively. So if you guys haven't already liked and subscribed to the channel, please do that. Also hit the bell notification down below that lets you guys know when I'm releasing new content. Until next time, have a super day. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.